Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Uh, I'm here in the um, main menu because there's been some new stuff in the uh, uh, Atom store. So um, I thought we'd have a little look at it. You've got some redshift power armor. <laughs> it, um, I can't say I'm a fan of that, but I'm sure some people will be wandering around in it. Uh, we've got the Communist Spy Bundle. That's alright, actually. That is quite cool. Uh, Communist Collectron. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got an AK... Well, I guess that's the Handmade, isn't it? Yeah. Which is an AK-47. Um, yeah. Redshift Wallpaper. I mean, that is bright. Can't say that's a favourite of mine. The backpack's all right, actually. Kind of looks quite cool. Uh, quite makeshifty. And then you have Pit Boy. The flooring's actually quite cool. I quite like that flooring. I don't think I'd buy it for 500. And then some communist flags. <laughs> um, and then it said there was some free stuff as well. What's the Grognax? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, very nice. Grognak there, the unstoppable bundle, which is all their outfits, yeah. It's kinda cool. Uh I like the cape on that one. That one's pretty cool. I quite like that one. I can't know who that is. Is that the inspector? Is that the silver shroud? That's man to man. Grognak. That must be the inspector, yeah. Okay. Comic book wallpaper. You can buy them individually as well. Bombs away mobile. <laughs> and a doomsday clock. Oh, nice. Uh, down home dweller. Oh, oh, that's quite cool, actually. I like that stash box. Vault bunion babe statue. Still backwards bungalow. That's really cool, actually. Hmm. Oh, a nice Nuka Cola set. It's just the wallpapers though. Hero statues. That's pretty cool. Uh, some planks, wallpaper set, glow in the dark map. Okay. Ah, this is the free thing. Free player icon. The spacesuit. Nice. Uh, ain't got anything new in Fallout First, have we? Nope. There are all the outfits still. And your power armor skin. So I own that one and that one. And the red headlamp, I guess. Um, oh, that's quite a cool paint job for a shotgun. Trouble is, I don't use a lot of these weapons. That is disgusting. <laughs> um, that's the homemade. I've got that one, actually. For some reason, I own this. I don't know why. Um, can you buy that Appalachia box for free? That's cool, actually. I am going to do some building soon. Um, I quite like this bundle. Um, own that. Okay. Well, there we go. We just had a little look through there. Now, we are obviously going to be playing with Dirk. And we'll go into our standard world. Hope you guys are all doing very well. I'm doing good. I'm really, really enjoying Fallout 76, as you will know by now, as I um, have kind of announced it. But, um, uh, like this will probably be released much after that, but um, I'm going to be putting up a Fallout 76 video each day, um, alternating between my light and dark playthroughs. Do I have one of those every other day? Um, just because I'm really enjoying the game. It's it's, it's a thing with. Um, I need to drink. Where am I? Oh, we're by our base, yeah. Which we built. Yes, okay, I remember. <laughs> just about. Um, we didn't build a thing, did we? Uh, there we go. There we go. 
Um, <coughs> sorry, just choked on my own saliva. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. It's a thing with Bethesda games where, for some reason, I find it with Skyrim, Fallout 4, this, I just, it, I just want to play it forever, and it just makes recording so easy. Um, so yeah. By the way, it was a really good idea of me to plant that stuff because I've now harvested it twice in the time that um, I could have harvested something once. So we're going down to the Nuka Cola factory, but we can only go as far as Flatwoods, which is only four caps actually. So I'll, I'll spend that, even though it would be cheaper to go to 76 and then down, but because um, we haven't been um, further south. So yeah, but um, let me have some of my tea. It was much hotter than I thought it would be, actually. There you go. So, right. First off, let's get rid of... Um, this. We're still using the bow. Um, I love that bridge. This is something which I always felt that um, Fallout 76 never got credit for which was the world um, people concentrated on a lot of other things and, you know you could say rightly or wrongly um, but what MMOs do you have where you get a map this size that you can just want oh right that's the I thought someone nuked it there that you can wander around and um like has you know this huge area you can wander around there's all these different things you can explore you can go anywhere you want um you know has these massive kind of vertical things that you can be like oh i want to go up there i go there or i want to go in the distance there i can go there it just doesn't it, it never happened in mmos Let the other one go. There it is. What was he doing? There he goes. <laughs> Still got 200 arrows, so I'm alright. Huh. Yeah, 204. 205. <laughs> um, I think the arrow is actually... Um, I think the bow is actually a good starting weapon because the, the um, arrows are inexpensive to make. You can get them back. It can one-shot kill a lot of stuff, especially when you sneak. So you don't, you know, sure, if you come across big groups, yes, you need to change. So I think a lot of people have been um, saying the bow is not very good because a high level, it isn't very good. But I think if you actually start off with it, it's actually pretty good because... If you think about it what i'm doing using this is saving a lot of my other ammo and that's actually quite important um because then when we do want to go higher we don't have to be using all our resources going around fighting lead scrap and everything because we've saved so much ammo and arrows are pretty cheap to make and as i said you get them back as well a lot of the time so where are we going <laughs> We want to go this way. I need to get up, up onto that bridge. Okay. I think last time we were at the bridge, weren't we? And I went back to camp because I wanted to um, sort some stuff out. Um, which is why we're, we weren't there when we started the episode. Just to kind of explain that, I think, for people. Um, but yeah. I'm going to do a, a recorded video today as well. Which will go up before this one. Which will be like my top ten tips i guess for getting started in, in fallout 76 um because i feel like i have put a lot of hours into the game and um i don't think i've got any crazy insights for people who've you know at level 40 or whatever but you know maybe for people who are thinking about starting the game um what what is it that this has got to offer and what's some advice so you don't perhaps get a bit swamped down if you haven't even maybe played a fallout game before but quite wanted to play this with some friends or something like that but um, yeah, 
Oh, these the um the cabins, aren't they? Yeah. So we need to be a little bit careful around here. Um pick up some soap flowers, try and make some of that nice tea that we got the recipe for. I definitely want to do more cooking with this character. So my other character um I got the uh, dog food perk and I got the um, Nuka Cola perk and um, that was kind of basically what I left out. I didn't do any of the, didn't really bother doing a lot of the, um, making a lot of the food items stuff like that. But I actually, I, I guess now especially is there's way more of them in the game than when I first started that character. I want to um, do a bit more on that. So this bridge is genuinely kind of full of um, gorse, but it's there are never a lot of them in one place so it also um, the reason why that is there is for some of the tadpole scout missions um, which you take on to get the backpack which I will have to do over again with this character I'm sure which is a bit annoying is there somebody else or was that him I heard someone to my left a little bit but I don't think so there's someone up there He's just kind of wandering around. Because when you're a character and you're starting out early on. I don't want to know what's in that bottle, mate. <laughs> um, mm, vodka, yes. Wine, yes. Any alcohol we are taking as well. Um, when you're starting out, you, you can't take that many hits. Especially if you're going up against high level characters. So ranged weapons really come into their own. Um, but then you know the problem you have is ammunition you don't really have a, a maybe a lot of scrap to make um, but you know the, the downfall of the bow is the same downfall that uh, the um, crossbow has which is that fire rate is ridiculously slow so you're never against groups you're never going to be any good so everything and everything kind of has downsides but a lot of other, a lot of other weapons have a lot less downside than uh, you know the, the bow so for example you could use like a, a minigun and be like well the downside is the ammo you know you have to make a lot of the ammo How am I missing this guy? Oh, thank you. Yeah, the ammo and the range isn't so good. But, um... Yeah, the range is fine, really. Let's go down this end, so we actually kind of... I think we actually have discovered it, but I'll just loot these guys. Um... Yeah, and so like maybe you're like, okay, so the, you know maybe I want to use the, the Gatling plasma. Well, you know the downside is it it breaks quite quickly. You know, well, it's <laughs> not that much of a downside. Um, or maybe you want to use the combat rifle. And you're like, well, the downside is that I, I don't know the downside to the combat rifle other than it's a little bit boring. Now that's a shot. I knew he wasn't dead. The bow is fun though, and that shouldn't be underestimated. In a game you're going to be spending a lot of hours in, uh, potentially. Don't underestimate the fun factor. Okay, we cannot pick this. We walked all the way here, and we cannot pick it. But yeah, like, I mean, you know, moments ago we were looking up at this bridge and I was saying like, oh yeah, you know, you can go anywhere you want. And now look, we're on the bridge, <laughs> passing over Flatwoods, basically, which is down there. You know, and if you had a friend in a game, he, you could see them from this bridge. Like, you, t I, I don't know, I feel like you just don't get that in a lot of MMOs. A lot of other MMOs, anyway. 
which is why this appeals to me. A lot of MMOs do the same thing, it's a third person thing, and don't get me wrong, I'm a massive fan of the Elder Scrolls Online, and actually going to probably be getting back into that a little bit, I think, as well, hopefully. Um, I've done a fair amount of content on my channel, but I've had some problems recording it, with it crashing. Um, but since then I have changed my computer somewhat, so I'm hoping that that has kind of amended the problem. No, you, we can leave that. How did that car get there? No, oh, I guess it kind of drove down there. Makes sense. Um. I can't even remember what I was talking about now. No, he's dead. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we are going the right way, okay. I was confused because I was like, did I kill that? It is nice to kill things though with one hit. <laughs> Ooh. So look at this door down here. Oh, okay. See, that could have been a potential issue if they'd have both run at me. But, uh, luckily they're ghouls and they're a bit dumb. Ooh, backyard grill. So I think the key to that is in the other side. So I think once you get pick lock level 2, you can get in there. I can't remember what's in there, but I don't think it's anything special. Um some scrap probably go up here to the ice cream parlor or is it called the the creamery I think Cal spots creamery yeah that's a cute sign mm, he did hit me is annoying. So our overall aim is to get to level 20 but I did want to do some of the brewing stuff because I do want this character to uh, shit. To be using uh, alcohol. So that's why I'm trying to collect as much as I can. Chuck it in my stash for later use. And we'll also uh, brew some of our own, I'm sure. Keeping the bow primed around here. Because you never know, maybe we're going to get a perfectly preserved pie. Just outside. Of course we're not. Never got one. I have a lot of hours in this game, and I've never, ever got one. Where is he? There he is. Ooh, he is hard. Swing and a miss, buddy. Swing and a miss. Oh, I'll take that. Cream. I can just drink it. Mmm, a lovely bottle of thirty-year-old cream. <laughs> The other thing I really like about Fallout 76 
is the way the perk cards work um, because it means you can just do different builds as you want so you can have a build that is all about combat and you know you can have a build which is all about you know carry weight you know so you can collect stuff and um, I just think that's really clever because a lot of MMOs will tie you into it you, you pick a perk you're tied into it sure you might be able to reset that perk at some point is this place up here just need to have a look so I can't remember there's a glowing light over there it's a Mr. Farmhand oh he didn't die how weird It's a farm, okay. It's quite quiet on this farm. Is it abandoned? It looks like Mr. Farmhands. Okay, I'm not going to be able to hit him because he's moving. Much easier to hit a station. Okay, he saw me. Or not. What was he shooting at then? <laughs> Random. I am no one's compost buddy. It's good to know that there is a workbench here, I guess. It can be useful to canned coffee as my can do. You know what I might try to do, just make a few more arrows while I'm here. So yeah, the arrows don't use that rarer components. I'd say uh Steel is, is pretty easy to find. Plastic's pretty easy to find. Um, the one there... Uh, what else was it? I can't remember now. But Aluminium, sorry, yeah. That was the one, which can be a bit annoying to find, but is not terrible. Um, but lead is probably the one that I would say you use the most in making ammo, and arrows don't use lead for obvious reasons. I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, bless. Bless him. I think there might be someone upstairs. Commence biological material process. Okay. Cheryl's journey. Ian went to Charleston today to ask for another loan. The bank turned him down again. Not sure what we'll do now. I knew this year might be rough, but I doubt we can even pick a hundred bushels from the trees outside. Those oil traps didn't do much to stop our moth problem. We can't afford enough insecticide without some serious help. Don't know where we can get that kind of money, no matter what. This falls crop is mostly gone. Oh. Hmm, still has a laser rifle. <laughs> That's sad. I'm gonna go break this stuff down while I'm here. It's good, got another mod. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna search everywhere, but effectively, um, well, let's go down this way. We are pretty much gonna head straight on to. Uh, Coca-Cola factory. 
but it's worth remembering that to get to Coca-Cola Factory, there's quite a lot of, uh, well, I guess there's not that much stuff in between, but a lot of stuff around it going on, so. Oh, what's this? I don't think I've ever been here. It's got a nice little meandering path. Oh, with some raid scum. What are you doing down here? Take some blood leaf, sure. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Who's the raider scum now, huh? No, oh, don't want to be there. That stuff. This is definitely a pathway to something. I don't know what it is a pathway to, though. There's a house down this way, just kind of on the way, so we'll join this path here. Some bees over there, we'll avoid them if they're annoying as hell. The teapot's up there. farm down there. I kind of know where we are. It's not a usual route I would take, to be honest, but it's nice to do things differently every once in a while. And also not to just fast travel everywhere. I guess that is probably one of the big differences between the two playthroughs other than the characters is um, this one we have to kind of walk to a lot of places. It's a beautiful night sky as well. Um, yeah, we have to walk to a lot of places because um, we don't have the locations discovered yet on the map. Whereas I can pretty much fast travel anywhere I want <laughs> uh, in my other game as I have most locations on the map discovered. Not everyone though actually, so that is something I actually probably want to do uh, at some point is, is go around and discover every location. Okay, there's a house up here. Oh, and a um, thingy. That's useful. Camp Adams. Mongrels. God, I thought that was real bad. Scout leader Penny. That's not it. That looks like that, is it? Still haven't worked out how to not... Um, so this is all about the Pioneer Scouts, which is how you get your... Uh, your backpack. I don't know if we can do it yet. I don't know if you have to be a higher level. Yeah, maybe you can't do that yet. There's a recipe here though. Tasty so stinging nice. stew. Scampers, scampers sure it is. And this is where you can do your pioneer badges. Take some spices. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a level. Let's go cook off those uh, mutt chops. How can I make the infused again? What did I need? Soot flowers, starlight berries, blood leaf is ginseng root, 
I don't even know if I've ever had ginseng root. Chew stick. Sure, never made one of them before. Don't want to use the razor grain. Still be nice. Do we need to eat? Yeah, we could actually do with eating. He says. Nice bit of ribeye. Eat these mutt chops now. And drop that mouldy food. There we go, that's better. Right, let's get up here. This will unlock some uh, locations for us. Again, I don't remember ever coming here before, but I guess I must have <laughs> at some point. There could be somebody up here. Sometimes there's. There's not. Okay. Just have a bit more of my tea while we're up here. So yeah, this uh, unveiled quite a lot. Oh, there's a Mothman cult place over there. Higher River Ventures is now Raider. Raider camp. Interesting. Oh, someone has got the, uh, the power plant. We're not going to go mess with them. They're level 21. Good way to get fusion cores, though. Firecracker berries. I want starlight berries. Right. Yes. Down this way to the Coke factory. I just love the views. I I tuned into somebody. I've had a look on YouTube actually, and I can't find many like playthroughs of Fallout 76. Again, surprising actually. I guess maybe that's just a culture thing now, where a lot of people are playing it through maybe on uh, Twitch than they would do on YouTube, I don't know. Maybe I'm behind the times. But, um, little camp there. Firecracker berries, I need starlight berries. Ah, oh, bless. Sure, I'll take it. Hulk and beans. Yum, yum, yum. There's the Coke factory. Sorry, the Nuka Cola factory. Um, yeah, but I, I couldn't find many. I found one. I was like, I quite fancy watching. Um, you know, somebody get, find out their opinions. They immediately were like, Oh yeah, Fallout seventy six. Um, oh yeah, still looks shit. Like things off in the distance still. And I was like, I immediately stopped watching because I was like, No, it doesn't. <laughs> like. No, what? I, I don't know. It confused me. I, I don't know. Sometimes I think people's expectations are weird. But there you go. Listen, each their own. I personally think this is a great looking game. Not up there with like, you know, big, huge, kind of like non MMO style games necessarily. A few of the textures are a bit lacking, yes. But I certainly wouldn't call the, the view distance crap. Like, that's weird to me. Something has seen me. There's ghouls down there. How has that ghoul seen me? I'm literally sneaking. I have got my light on though, so that might actually be a giveaway. Yeah. Just have injured, I've got my yeah. Actually gonna got my shotgun on there as well. Good to know you can still one shot level nine. <laughs> I think when I was here before uh, with my uh, thing, I did say that 
One of my favourite things to do is just blow up as soon as we've got so many frag mines. Okay, fine. Reuse a grenade. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> yes. Don't get that in other MMOs, do you? <laughs> right. See ya. Sucker. Right, we just have to find some new Kokoda Quantum. That's all we're here for. You're kidding me, that can't pick up... Oh. That's weird, I can't seem to pick up anything and it's stuck in... Uh... Oh, okay. We may have crashed. <laughs> uh, what can we do? Okay, that might have shifted it. Yeah, okay. That's weird. These just beer bottles, like actual beer. I don't need them. Right. There's somebody wandering around up here. Okay. Some good loot in here as well. Is that a bit of a bottle? Can't open that. In my next level, I will take the picklock level one. So I'll look at this side. That's why we have this primed. Our latest market survey reports that healthy on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. <coughs> Our first experiment is going to look at reviving the calorie flavored market. It's a beverage that has its origins in the and has a built-in recognition with demographics outsider status. We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim. But right now, we're leaning towards classic digestive beverage for the new generation, and or a green tonic water from America's greatest era. Huh. Safe to say, Nuka Cola were not exactly the most consumer friendly company on earth were they where do we think another one is it sounded like it was coming from under the stairs the quantum. Okay. Got it. We don't need to be in here for anything else. To my knowledge, there's nothing else in here that is really worth us being in here and we will come back here at some point. So, I 
we will just head on out and then zip zip on back to uh, camp. Oh, nice. Take out a few of these guys while we're here. Surprisingly not a lot of nuka cola in this factory. You were thinking about farming some here. It's not the greatest place on earth to come and farm nuka cola anyway. It's decent enough scrap in here. I hear someone running. Usually mean that they've seen me. Disease cure though. I'm all about that. Gold plated glass. What is that? Uh, right, okay, we are going to just kind of get out of it. I don't want to spend all episode in here because we could, trust me. Uh, this gets us out onto the roof, that's fine. Right, we can go back to our camp. That would be cheap. And then we can get over and get our bloody um, Nuka Shine. Somebody shoot my camp. What's going on up here? It's all a bit... Oh, fucking mole... No, mongrels. Get off my camp. Why is there a new colour projection now? Stop eating my barbecue. You son of a gun. For some reason that's not working. Anyway. I need to head back this way. Might as well walk there as well. Walk, run, whatever. Shoot soon, we will have brewed our own Yukashan. I just can't stop looting, can I? And then I think they give us our brew station and stuff like that. We can brew some of our own brews. A bit of brewski. Okay, well I want that stuff, but clearly I'm not going to be jumping over that way. Oh, hello. This is nice. Uh, but not useful right now. Don't worry, my friend. Soon we will be drinking beer. Here it is. There's someone around here. Could be up top, actually. Anyway, don't need to worry about them now. Big Al's tattoo part. Okay. <laughs> He's on a toot. Right, Nuka Shine. Completed. And then we have to ferment it, right? The fermentation station. Uh, 
Which one's the brute? Oh, warning. Since you're going to you flash from age of fast already, yes, the safety on such as warning. Okay. Ooh! Okay. We flash fermented, but I think we broke the flash fermenter. Give Nuka Shine to Biv. You do indeed, Biv. Sure thing, Biv. This is where, yeah, we get the fermenter in the brewing station there. Yes, we can make our own beer. We can make some here though as well. So what do we need for for our own beer? Corn, razor grain, wood, water. Wow. Spirits is corn, razor grain, wood. So if we have, um, well, we'll have to have a look actually because we, we'll want to get some. Uh, if we speak to him now. Would he give us another? So hopefully now we'll start getting some cool. Um, Sorry, hopefully we'll start getting them just concentrate on like... Oh, wouldn't that flash thing went off? It blew all these off the shelves. That's quite hilarious. Uh, yeah, we should hopefully get some nice... Uh, what are these cups? I just need to look. Are they plastic? If they're plastic, I'll take them. Cloth. Not worth it. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some recipes for um okay yeah we'll get some recipes and we'll actually be able to make our own beer and stuff like that because I, I would quite like to do that because i never really did that with my other character um it'd be quite cool to do that with this one use the effects of that to uh, help us. We'll have to have a look at what each item does though to uh, to help us and what is specifically is what will be our drink of choice I guess. Um, what I'm going to do now is go back to my camp and then I'm going to off camera just build it out a little bit more so we can actually fit in the fermentation um, and brew brewing station and stuff like that. So, um, So, yeah, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.